Yeah, yeah, so that's, okay. people okay. see it and they start to notice that never fly solo. And basically like what it is, for me, drive. my shit yeah, yeah. is the anxiety plus depression. That's my number one battle. That's what I've always been. And other people need to understand, you ain't weak, man. You're not hurt. You don't, and you don't fly solo. You, there's always people out there, man. Get that buddy system. This what helps break the cycle, breaks the chain. And so we're starting to, our goal is to go out there and start battling, combating, you know, People that are battling anxiety, depression, it's hard. I do it every day. It's rough. You know what I mean? I'm learning all the time. That's what I mean about coming out and flying and traveling to places that I scared to death of traveling. You know what I mean? I'm in the worst sport in the world for traveling. But now I'm embracing it. So, you know, and that's our deal. Is we want to do the big thing is here. There'll be red planes, origami. And we'll send that's it. What to do when you buy a shirt? Sure, you're gonna get that's one of those invisible, yeah. like made up yeah, things. Right still there. working. We see. We ain't business, man. We're trying to learn. We're trying to play. Cause I want to help you. And uh, but you'll get ten pieces of origami tape. And the whole goal is to really? write yeah. they just some putting, kind of words of encouragement. Again, in the that, world where there's a family a sitting out okay. on the side of the freeway with a broken down car and Not 80 for, vehicles like, that zip by yeah. because we're afraid yeah. to stop and meet a stranger. We're afraid to do anything. Go out there and hand people a piece of paper, words of encouragement. Pay it forward. Start taking care of each other. Get each other's backs. You know what I mean? So it's kind of ironic how you're talking about getting into the whole political scene and stuff. It's Politics don't have our back, man. Then we have to get each other's back, and that's again that piece of paper, paying things forward, man. Just giving somebody a positive note, a little nudge. This will save my life. Coach has saved my life, and I'm getting beat on and crushed, you know. So that's what we're trying to do with the whole never fly solo. Use somebody, get people out there, and get into a group, and that helps break the cycle of obesity, laziness, just you know, defeat, and paranoia, and everything that goes with it. And so that's what we're trying to do. Lead paper claims. Well, you know, I mean, it, it just depends. Yeah. You know, again, I don't, we kind of rather, I'd rather utilize what we've done and created with our names and being in this sport and, and trying to build it a separate way. I'm not trying to go out there and, you know, everybody can be fixed. If they just, if everybody can break the cycle. I'm not trying to have man come down and throw medicine on everybody. I can't stand that. I mean, I tried that. I tried the Adderall. I tried the Nazapan. Uh, I can't do man's drugs, man. If they start manipulating and putting so much stuff, I guess I'm the new age hit. I can't eat that, man. All that processed food, all that garbage that got you eating, that creates cancer. Why well, cancer? I ain't trying to cure that. I'm trying to go out there and get as many people sick. Let's keep them alive. For a good three weeks, four weeks at three thousand dollars a day, and then they don't make it. Why? Because they just killed their entire body with chemo. And the first thing they do is go get some processed food that their body doesn't even know how to digest. Nobody educates them to teach them how to do it. Nothing. So by you asking that, going with other groups, if they've already been out there, we kind of just have straightened and we just do our own path. I want to keep it legit. But one thing I've always said was I never. When I was growing up and the state came in, don't be that guy in a suit sitting on one side of the table telling me how I'm supposed to act. When I listen to my mother scream my name, help me, come save me. My dad is beating the living shit out of me. My dad is punching on my little brother. And you're going to tell me because your book says this is how I'm supposed to act? I will choke you with that tie. There's no, there's no speech. There's no street credit. Who, who are you going to talk to? Who are you going to teach? Really? Now you get out there, move around with me, understand it, build and help break the cycle, and they'll come find you. And so I don't know about dealing with, see, so you got a big answer for it, but I don't know if I'm going to do um, work with other groups. Might just do our own thing. Red Plains, make people go out there, and let them go out there and have a voice. I would like to educate them. I know we got everything working on it. Whoa, whoa. I don't want you interfering in my lunch diet. Only let me have 850 calories. Michelle Obama, you communist bitch. I mean, isn't that what they're trying to say right now? All she wants you to do is eat more apples. And they're yeah. like, oh, fuck you. I will have tater tots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let, let's do the school. And again, it's all that. I think, well, there was one company we're working with right now. And they, they do shakes and stuff like that. Real shakes. And it does work for you know, these people and things. You can easily change them up athletically different diets. I don't claim to be a pro at it. I don't understand it. But I would like to, what we can do is we're working on putting together 
workouts and, and systems and week-long things and getting them in the buddy systems and working on obesity, changing the way that they eat because the biggest thing, it's simple. Man, it's simple. For one fighting championship, man. The more people, the more men that have touched that food, the worse you don't, you don't, you don't want it. Natural. Grow it. Like I said, a, a wild turkey shot and stuffed. I a butterball turkey that they get from the store. That thing is, looks like a gigantic cow potato. And you get that little cross country run over here. That's, like, that's the turkey. You know what I mean? All the chemicals and greed and all the stuff they throw into the turkeys now. Shit. Really? Shelf life. They don't care. Body don't know how to digest that. So it's going to suffer. No, I'm just moving. Alright. See, you got all cotton, you got hey, berries. That's the pulverkins. That's, that's it. Burying the pulverkins. Yeah. Dad, so you caught me half starving. And see, I try not to, yeah. I try not to let that part of me out.